Ohio is holding a unique primary today here on your local election. Headquarters mail-in ballots had to be postmarked by yesterday, but if you still have your ballot on hand, you can get your vote counted until 7.30 tonight. 2 News reporter Devro Bogart joins us live with details on how to do that. Secretary of State Frank LaRose says each county has a secure drop box for those ballots to be placed in. You can see the one from Montgomery County right behind me is that white box right in front of the county administration building. Now, Secretary LaRose says that they will have the unofficial results tonight, but he says they could slightly change before they're officially certified as they will continue to receive and count mail in ballots for the next 10 days. Many Montgomery County voters dropping off their ballots today say it's an unusual way, but this year a necessary way to have their voice heard. Well, it's important that we vote, and I also understand it's important that we stay safe. And so uh, if you can still get out and stay safe, and there's not a lot of people around here, so I feel pretty comfortable coming down uh, to drop it off in the, the box over here. So. I'm pretty happy about how it worked out for us today. Just a small number of people who meet certain requirements were able to vote in person today. Otherwise, all mail in ballots must have been postmarked by Monday and received by the Board of Elections in the next 10 days. Secretary of State Frank LaRose says all votes the county boards of election have by 7 30 p.m. will be counted electronically tonight. The ballots that come in are a hand marked paper ballot. Um, the boards of elections have high speed scanning machines. In many cases, the ballots that have been received in advance have already been scanned but not tabulated. LaRose says the votes will be certified mid May and says tonight's unofficial results could slightly change, but he says that's typical of any election. Usually, there's very little variation in that because the majority of those ballots are all counted by election night. Uh, that'll be a little different this year because we will continue to receive ballots on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, into the weekend. Uh, the numbers that were reported tonight will give you a pretty good indication of where the election is headed. And certainly uh, in those races where there's a large separation between the leader and, and the second place. Another change this year is there will be no individual precincts reporting. Instead, each county will report a complete list of results one time tonight. Reporting live in Montgomery County, Deborah Bogart, 5 on 2.